Hi guys, I hope you're all having a great day today. I'm gonna to be filming a first impression slash haul and a few things I've gotten from Sephora and Ulta. I know I just posted a Sephora VIB sale haul, so some of the stuff that I returned, I ended up getting in this haul, so it kind of evened out a little bit. I did cheat a little bit and get a little bit more stuff. And I went into Ulta for one thing and then came out with 10 things. So I will show all of that in the video. Um, so hope you guys enjoy this type of video and I'm gonna be trying to do um, more of these like first impression hauls and that type of stuff. But before we get into the video, I did wanna say that I have started a new Instagram just for my makeup related stuff. Makeup by Pamela Ira, which is my middle name is Irisima. So uh, I will say it right here. I will link it down below. You guys should definitely follow me on there. I know a lot of you have. I tried to follow most of the people that I knew would be interested in the makeup stuff already, but maybe a lot of you don't know that um, I had an Instagram or whatever, but if you're just here for the makeup, follow me on there. If you wanna see like, everything else you can obviously still follow me on my personal account it's going to be public anyways uh, but I just wanted to do one that is just going to be makeup and beauty skincare fashion related all of that and I think it'll directly correlate to this channel because a lot of times I just want to post more beauty and makeup stuff and then I'm like no I don't want to like crowd my feed with that like 90% of my like Instagram followers on my personal account don't care about that stuff. So um, I hope you guys enjoy the video and let me know um, if you follow my new account, leave your screen name or your Instagram name down below so that I can follow you back. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into the video. And I did film it on my vanity, um, which just cause it's easier than filming in here and bringing all my stuff. So the lighting is a little bit off but I will keep updating during the day. Um, hope you guys enjoy this type of video. I so I just used the Kate Somerville Goat Milk Cream. Um, this is the smaller size. I don't think I meant to buy the small size, but it is the one that is um, one fluid ounce. So I guess it's nice since I can travel with it and all of that. Um, I like it so far. I don't Feel like it has a smell like I feel like a lot of people have talked about that foundation having a smell but um, I just want to do this quickly because I am getting ready for work so I'm gonna run through the items that I got that was one of them um, from the um, Sephora VIB sale return and then I got a few things at Ulta as well um, I got a few like masks and stuff like that that I'll just quickly show you um, um, I got this skin Iceland eye patches I really like those and I got these um, leaders in solution what happened last night um, radiance revitalizing masks so uh, I'm excited about those but those are stuff that I'm not going to use right now and I also got some Shiseido cotton wipes that were sold out during the VIB sale doing this first impression so this is the first time I try all of these products so I'm excited about that so the first thing is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation a lot of people recommended this to me after my last video um, that I talked about returning the Dior Forever foundation so we'll see how this goes I did get the color vanilla packaging is nice it does come with a pump which is always very well received I guess there's a lot of foundations that don't come with pumps so I'm going to use my Real Techniques um, buffing brush which is just like my go-to whenever I do a first impression because it just is my favorite so I just did a little bit on here and then I'm just gonna apply this So I really like that coverage. I think that it covered everything that I needed it to. It was fast application. Um, I feel like I don't need more coverage for every day. It does not have SPF, which is the only downside to this, but I actually really like it and it looks really good. Like it doesn't look cakey or anything. Like I like it so far, woohoo. So hopefully this is a good one. So the next new thing I picked up is by It Cosmetics. Um, I realized that my Anastasia one was running out and I wanted to try something new, even though I love it, but I've heard good things about this one. It's the Universal Brow Pencil in Universal Taupe. Yeah, and that's what the pencil looks like. And it's very, very thin, maybe even more thin than the Anastasia. Um, so I'll brush through my brows a little bit. 
feels good. You know how when you first open the Anastasia pencil, the, like, this little thing, what do you call this? Spoolie? It's always, like, really, th like, thick and stiff, and this one is, like, didn't hurt my eyes. Ooh. I like this. And keep in mind, this is just, like, my everyday, like, I'm going to work, so I don't want to do something crazy. Really, really like that. And I believe it was the same price as the Anastasia. I'm just gonna be going in quickly with the um, almond shadow from Burberry that I got during the VIB sale. Um, super easy to apply. This is what it looks like. Um, been using it ever since I got it, and it's just the perfect sweep on your lid and go. It's a little bit more dramatic than Pale Barley and definitely more warm toned. All right, so now that like that is done, um, I'm going to use this Burberry Cashmere Concealer. I did realize I got this powder. This is a repurchase of mine. Um, it's by Benefit and I don't apply this during the day. This is what I just keep in my purse um, since it is really, really nice. It's a Hello Flawless. I'm in the color Petal. That's what it looks like and it's a beautiful like skin-like powder and it does come with like a little puff and a little sponge for application. So I'm just gonna go ahead and throw that into my purse because um, I have to, especially in the summer, I always have to repowder. So we'll see how this holds up. Um, but even like if I wear like Estee Lauder double wear, I'll have to repowder because I live in North Carolina. That's hot. It's already hot, even though it's not, um, <laughs> even though it's not summer yet. I did get the Urban Decay Beached Bronzer, which I don't need because I have just got that Tom Ford bronzer, but they are very different. This is very bronzy, and then my Tom Ford one is very like more cool toned. So I don't know if you guys can see the difference. Or brush with this. This is in the color bronzed. Let's see how it goes. Oh wow, it's really pigmented. <laughs> Definitely pigmented. I do really like it though. Got this Lorac highlighter, so I just need to be careful because I don't want to look like a glitter ball for work today. Um, it is in the color Twilight. It is just the most beautiful highlighter you will have ever seen. Oh, that's so pretty. Very light. Beautiful. I like love that highlight. Wow. It's really nice. And it's not too much, I don't think. Uh, which is good. Um, I'm just gonna do a little bit of a lip product. This is the last thing that I purchased. It's so bare from Sephora. Um, the Estee Edit, which this is the packaging. It's like um, white kind of ombre down to silver. And I got the color so bare. So. I really like it. It's really, really pretty. Um, I'll go to the bathroom to show you guys like a better. I feel like the lighting is much better. You can kind of see more the makeup here. I love the bronzer and the highlighter. I think they're really pretty. And I did use Laura Mercier Spiced Cider Blush, but I really like the foundation so far. I'm looking at it in the mirror and I like really like it. So hopefully I get along really well with it and I don't have the same problems that I did for, during with the Dior Forever foundation. But I will um, keep you guys along. I'll do like a check-in like during my lunch break and then a check-in um, after work and all of that. So stay tuned. Hey guys, so it is about two o'clock. Um, I just went to Trader Joe's during my lunch and then got groceries. I'm gonna drop them off and then I'm like, like literally I eat in my car like all the time. I'm eating these spring rolls for lunch. Um, and I really like how the foundation is looking. I'm in a parking garage, so I can't really um, like see it in daylight, but 
so far I mean I have a little bit of oil like on my forehead and on my on my nose but that's basically it apart from that it looks really good hi guys so it is 7 o'clock p.m. and I'm back from work and I'm actually already changed into my gym clothes because I have my trainer at 7 15 um, so I'm gonna go there a little bit and do cardio for like 10 minutes before he gets there so um, this is the remainder of the foundation I did not touch up at all or of my makeup um, you can obviously still see the bronzer and the highlighter and all of that. Overall, I really like it. And I feel like even how it looks right now, it's really good for basically put this on at like, what, 8 o'clock? So it's a lot of wear and I like it a lot. And I didn't put a primer on. So all of that, you know, I'll probably try it with the primer tomorrow. But overall, I really like the look the mirror. And like, I feel like this is making it look even shinier than it is but it's not I really like it looks very skin like and pretty so um, I will obviously be updating with like my April favorites all of that stuff and if you watch my weekend vlogs I'll like give you guys updates on what I'm thinking about everything but so far I would say I really liked the foundation and the bronzer and highlight they were really really nice and the eyebrow pencil really liked it all um, the lip like wore off but I like it I thought it was really pretty and a really like nice quality balmy nice what else did I try that's about it but I really liked everything so I hope you guys like this type of video um subscribe and let me know what other kind of videos you guys would like to see don't forget to follow me on my new Instagram account that will be linked down below thank you guys so much for watching bye